Jesus fits everywhere. Don't apologize. Don't be afraid to take Jesus into the marketplace, into the public square, right? I always tell people, I remember someone asked me, how did I feel about going into these mainstream rooms? Because I'm, I'm blessed to go in those rooms. I always say, I have something that they need. So I'm not intimidated because I'm the gospel artist in the room. If you're looking for hope, I got Jesus for you. If you're battling depression, I got Jesus for you. So I can go in these rooms and share Jesus. And that's what we're supposed to be doing. So I'm always um, encouraged in my prayer time. Like, Lord, where do you want me to go next? What door am I opening? You know, where can I go? I love singing to believers, but I love singing to non-believers because we're trying to draw them to Jesus. And I think sometimes, unfortunately, we get comfortable in our worship circle and in our church circle, which is good because we need that to be encouraged and empowered. But if Jesus can't come back until everybody has, has, has had a chance to know, then that means our different styles become beneficial. That means our different uh, voices become